Just put the uh, top back on. I've just had a little spritzer of this ready for the review. There we go. Okay, this review is Adventure by Davidoff. Right, a little history as always on the brand. Davidoff is a Swiss luxury tobacco goods brand. It was established by Zeno Davidoff over 70 years ago. Zeno moved to Switzerland around 1929 where he took over his parents' tobacco shop. What had originally been a modest tobacco shop grew into a rich business during and after World War II. Neutral Switzerland was spared most of the chaos really inflicted in uh, Europe and it became a, a haven for affluent tobacco customers. 25 years later, his name is internationally renowned. Davidoff was really sort of back then much more associated with cigars than perfume. However, like most businesses, as they grow, they like to diversify, moving into all different areas. Now they sell sort of eyewear, coffee, cognac, leather goods, all sorts of things. The first Davidoff fragrance was launched in 1984. And in 1988, they launched the brand's most renowned fragrance, Davidoff Cool Water. Adventure was released in 2008. Zeno Davidoff passed away in 1994 at the age of 87. So on to the main review. The perfume is created to be woody and spicy, and it was designed by perfumer Antoine Lee. Now, I have to be honest, when I first got this and um, sprayed it, I didn't actually like it that much. It sort of transported me back to childhood and sat in my dad's car and feeling car sick. I don't quite know why it did that, but it did. Now, this was a gift from the staff of a company that I was employed by um, some time ago. You know, it, obviously, I didn't have a chance to test it. It was a gift. And, uh, you know, I, it just on the initial kind of opening, it sort of reminded me of a fumey sort of car with... My father's sort of pipe tobacco wafting around and just feeling generally a bit car sick. But in saying that, I, well, as you can see, I, I got this, this is about two years old and you can see the bottle's not really been used that much, but I did start to give it a second chance a while back, allowing it to, you know, go through its stages. Once I got past that first initial kind of, just a few seconds really, it, started to turn into something quite nice. So in the top notes we have tea, mandarin, bergamot, lemon, mate and pepper. The mid is pimento and sesame and in the base we have cedar, vetiver and white musk. And as you can see here it's got a lovely amber coloured juice. This fragrance opens with sweet notes of mandarin, bergamot and mate, and tea, which of course are actually both tea, as you can make tea from mate. It's got a little zesty lemon followed by black pepper. As it evolves, you, get the, you kind of get the same scent, but the sesame and berries start to unfold just as the mandarin starts to evaporate then I kind of get the pimento. Slowly it shifts to a more woody dry down. The cedar, vetiver and light musk kind of take control. But strangely, the mandarin seems to come back, which is technically wrong, but it is there. Um, if I'm honest, on total dry down, it's a little generic and reminds me of uh, To Be King by Police. Uh, that might be due to the cedar and woody notes and orange blossom that um, To Be King contains. As for performance, if I'm honest, not the best projection or sillage on me. It lasts about four to five hours before, you know, becoming a skin scent. Um, so yeah, overall kind of thoughts on this. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. You know, I'd wear this as a kind of everyday scent, um, but definitely not a special occasion. You know, maybe just for mountain biking when no one else is around. Well, that's about it for this review. I will see you in the next one. 
And just as a little sort of side note, next time somebody says they've got a Davidoff designer fragrance, you could say, well, technically it's not a designer fragrance, as Davidoff isn't a designer, they're a luxury goods brand. Just thought I'd add that to the end of this video. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.